Hi, I'm Shanul Spanso, and this is the final part of the series, Low Cost Brain Machine Interface for Controlling Mechanical Systems, under the guidance of Professor Alexander Harbour at RIT in New York. In this video, I will demonstrate my final project where I'll be controlling the direction of this system using eye beam detection. Okay, so now beginning with the MATLAB code. We can simply copy the code of the sites on board that we have discussed in part two of the series. Let's do that. Copy and paste. Now we can add the Arduino code. So here we are setting the main parameters and opening the communication with the Arduino. We can simply add it over here before setting the parameters for the site on board. Now, since we need continuous communication to the Arduino via MATLAB, that is zeros and ones, we'll go to the for loop and see where we are getting the zeros and ones. Okay, so here we have our converted signal. And since we are getting zeros and one, but in the Arduino, we are sending a signal like this. What I can do is I can write a line like Arduino string equal to num to str converted signal. one, two, three, and marker. Now what this does is, it takes the converted signal, that is zeros and ones, adds this part and makes it as a string, such that we don't have to change anything in the Arduino code itself. Now we simply add the line f print f Arduino Arduino string this sends the control sequence to the Arduino board and at the end, to close the communication between Arduino, we simply use the command f close Arduino. And that's it for the MATLAB code. Now, let's go over the code very quickly. So first we call these functions as it is a good practice. Then we define the main communication parameters for the Arduino. We set some other parameters such as input buffer size, timeout, and set them to the Arduino board. We then open the communication between the Arduino and MATLAB. Now, it's time to start the uh, communication between the site on board and MATLAB. So we start with the basic characters, the number of packet bytes, the gain size, input buffer size, and the timeout value. Then we start by setting these values on the site on board and MATLAB. Now we open the communication channel between the site on board, reset it, and start reading the data. We process the data that is changed by using the gain parameters and by reading the byte size based on what we have connected to the site on board. Here we convert it to get the voltage. Now we plot the voltage, detrain the signal, use a moving average filter to reduce any noise, get a moving variance filter for peak detection, convert this to zeros and ones for easier control signal. Then use this to send signals to the Arduino and control the stepper motor. After doing this, we can simply close the communication between Arduino and end it. That's for the final project, guys. Thank you. While running the code, we'll simply do this. Instead of running the whole code, because if we run the whole code directly from the editor, we don't want to close the Arduino communication. So let's see how that goes.